So today I want to show you AWS CDK, and we're going to run this tutorial, which is an example that AWS provides, and we're going to uh, launch an EC2 instance and connect to it. And this is all done via Python and is available at this GitHub link, which I'll uh, put in the video description. And what it does is it creates uh, a VPC with a public subnet, um, it, it, whatever the defaults are for the particular AWS account that you're in. Uh, you're grabbing the latest AMI of Amazon Linux 2, and you are doing remote session through the CLI um, in, for SSH, uh, instead of SSH, actually. And we, we have some user data that's also running, too, which we'll take a look at, configure.sh. Um, actually, let's take a look at that real quick now. Um, well, there's nothing there. So not much to look at there. Uh, but if we go back here, um, so these four commands are what we're going to run. Uh, bootstrap it, and that creates a CloudFormation stack with a bunch of resources in it that we can look at. And then we synthesize the template from CDK. So we can basically produce a CloudFormation YAML file that we could use elsewhere, which is real, real handy. And then we deploy the stack to the account and then log into the EC2 that comes out of it. So first thing we want to do after you clone, uh, you want to clone this entire examples directory, uh, sorry, re repo, and, uh, and then go to the Python EC2 instance directory and then run CDK bootstrap. So that'll be the first command that we run here, CDK bootstrap. And I'm in that directory that I was speaking about. Okay, so now we can see that the environment is bootstrapped. So if we go to CloudFormation, this is the stack. And if we refresh this page, it should change to create complete, and it does. And this stack, again, has all the resources that we need to deploy uh, AWS Cloud Development Kit apps into the environment. So this isn't the EC2 instance stack. This is just all, you can think of it as all of the other components and resources that go with that EC2 instance that we're about to build um, as, as part of the Cloud Development Kit. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Cloud Development Kit, this is a nice uh, introduction to it or overview on it. You're basically just defining cloud infrastructure using familiar languages such as Python, Java, um, and it's just an open source uh, development framework for your cloud resources using those languages. So now that we've got a bootstrap, we're gonna synthesize the CloudFormation template. So we want to see the CloudFormation template. So we're just gonna run CDK synth. Okay, so this is the CloudFormation template showing what we just did here. It's quite a bit, but um, I won't go through this all, but this is really nice if you want to just see what the, you could cut and paste this and um, your, your synthesized CloudFormation output starting on this line, resources, and utilize it elsewhere if you wanted to. So uh, really, really great information there. Nice tool, quite handy. So let's look at the next step here. So now we are going to deploy so CDK deploy, so it's going to use uh, this app.py and the other um, uh, files in this directory in order to uh, deploy the stack, the EC2 instance stack. So that's the CDK deploy command. This is what it looks like when it's deploying. It gives you a nice progress bar and tells you some of the uh, CloudFormation resources and the status and the time uh, within this progress bar. And of course, all of that uh, corresponds to what you would see in the console with your create in progress. So if you went to events, um, the timestamp, the logical ID, the status, and uh, I don't know that the reason is included here. It doesn't look like it, but that same information is being presented to you in the terminal in, in a different view there. So uh, one of the resources that we'll get out of this is the actual EC2 instance ID. Uh, we don't have that yet, but it's on the way. Okay, so this deployment is complete. It took about 182 seconds. 
Um, so if my math is right, that's about two and a half minutes. Um, and now if we go back to CloudFormation and we look at the stack info, create is complete. And if we go to the resources, we can see that instance ID. So if we grab that, and then we take a look at uh, how to connect to it using the how, how we're going to get a shell on this machine using um, AWS CLI. We're going to AWS SSM start session target. So AWS SSM start session double dash target and then the instance ID. And now we've got a shell on the machine. And we're good to go. So we can log off. And you might ask yourself, um, why go through all this trouble just to launch an EC2 instance? Well, you could just go straight to the console and launch uh, T3 Nano uh, you know, with the latex, latest AWS Linux AMI. And, but you would be missing a lot of the um, I guess, properly vetted components that go along with it. So the AWS recommended way is with this cloud development kit. And basically you would take this and expand upon it. So you get your security group defined, you get an instance profile, you get your own VPC with an internet gateway. Um, you have your subnets, your route tables, your subnet associations, all of that's taken care of for you. Um, even your SSM policy uh, and role so, for example, we can just take a look at this uh, IAM role and take a look at what uh, what's within it. I hope you enjoyed this example, and I hope you found it helpful as a good way to get started with AWS CDK. Thanks for watching.